الحمد لله وكفى والصلاة والسلام على عباده الذين استفى خصوصا على أفضلهم وخاتم النبيين محمد الأمين وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين أما بعد فقد قال الله تبارك وتعالى في كما ورد في سورة التوبة وسورة الصف وسورة الفتح أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم هو الذي أرسل رسوله بالهدى ودين الحق ليظهره على الدين كله فقال عز وجل كما ورد في سورة الشورى شرع لكم من الدين ما وصى به نوحا والذي أوحينا إليك وما وصينا به إبراهيم وموسى وعيسى أن أقيموا الدين ولا تتفرقوا فيه وقال عز وجل كما ورد في سبوت الأنفال وقاتلوهم حتى لا تكون فتنة ويكون الدين كله لله صدق الله العظيم وعن الحارس العشري رضي الله تعالى عنه قال قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم آمركم بخمس الله أمرني بهن للجماعة والسمع والطاعة والهجرة والجهاد في سبيل الله رواه الإمام أحمد والإمام الترمزي رحمهم الله وعن أنس رضي الله تعالى عنه قال قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم الجهاد ماز مزباسني الله إلى أن يقاتل آخر هذه الأمة الدجال رواه الإمام أبو داود رحمه الله رب شرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل لقدة من لساني يفقه قولي اللهم ربنا ألهمنا رشدنا وعزنا من شرور أنفسنا اللهم أرنا الحق حقا ورسقنا اتباه وأرنا الباطل باطلا ورسقنا اجتنابه اللهم وفقنا لما تحب وترضى اللهم وفقنا أن نجاهد في سبيلك بأموالنا وأنفسنا اللهم ارزقنا شهادة في سبيلك آمين يا رب العالمين Dear brothers and sisters and sons and daughters in Islam السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته In the previous session, we discussed about jihad fi sabilillah. Let us review briefly the topics regarding this discussion, which we have already completed. First of all, the importance of jihad fi sabilillah. Ayat 10 and 11 of Surah Tussaf clearly give us that one cannot hope salvation in the hereafter without jihad fi sabirillah. Then, ayat number 14 and 15 of Surah Al-Hujrat clearly give us that jihad fi sabirillah is an integral part of iman itself. Then we discussed two great misconceptions about jihad. Number one, that jihad means war. While we know that in the Quran we have a definite and separate term for war, for the cause of Allah, and that is qital fi sabirillah. Qital is khas, jihad is am. Qital is definitely jihad, but every jihad is not qital. Jihad is a broad based concept, while qital is a particular thing. But the biggest result, you know, that has been that jihad disappeared from our concept of faraid. It becomes, it became, you know, when we thought that jihad is war and war is not going on all the time. So it becomes only for the kefaya. That is the loss that we have sustained due to this misconception. Number two. We have been thinking that when a Muslim goes to war, he is making jihad fi sabilillah. He might be a fasid and fajid and zalim. He might be a despotic king. He might be going to war only to increase his revenue, to increase his luxuries. 
Well, every war that a, mo- that a Muslim is fighting is not necessarily jihad fi sabilillah. This has given bad name to this most sacred term of our deen that is jihad fi sabilillah. Then we discuss the literal meanings of the word jihad. It is derived from juhud. Juhud means to strive for something. But when juhud comes against juhud, there is a confrontation between two juhuds. It becomes jihad or mujahada. Just as if unilaterally a person kills the other, it is qati. When there are two groups pitched against each other, each one intending to kill the other, it becomes tetal or muqatala. So this is the relationship between juhud and jihad or mujahada. Then we try to understand three levels of jihad in general terms. First of all, every living being is always making jihad. And that is jihad for existence, struggle for existence. Because in this world you have competition everywhere. You have to compete to support yourself. So that competition is everywhere. This is jihad lil hayah, jihad lil baqa, struggle for existence. Number two, every self-respecting human being makes two jihads. The jihad to snatch his rights from the usurpers. His rights, if they have been snatched and usurped by others, his freedom, his right of self-rule or self-determination. So, they have to make jihad. And there is, you know, jihad al hurriyah the freedom struggle, to get freedom, self-rule, self-determination. Actually, and this can go to even the level of qital, war of independence. So these two levels are common to all human beings. Muslims also can do it, and the non-Muslims also do it. But you know, a Muslim, if he is making these two jihads, but he is, you know, observing the rules of the Sharia. He is not using any forbidden means, haram means. He is only resorting to whatever is halal. Halal means. Then you know, it is a part of the ibadah. And he will be rewarded for both of these jihads also. As the Prophet said, Al-Kasibu Habibullah. And you know, the Prophet said, Man qutila duna malihi fa huwa shahidun. So if a Muslim is making these two jihads, the jihad for existence, the jihad for hurriyah, and if he is laced out his life, he gets a shahada, a level of shahada. But you know, there are levels, different levels of shahada. The highest level of shahada is when a Muslim...